walking through the forest, it's supposed to be for exercise, so it should be a fast walk. <laughs> but it's actually usually pretty slow because I'm picking things up along the way and trying to stop myself from bringing everything back into the studio. But these things I'll look at really closely, the shapes, the texture, the part that each of these pieces plays in um, a sustainable ecology. It's been really amazing collecting leaves and, um, and gum nuts and things as, as the trees have fallen and the green vegetation has changed over time and it's now dying. I've been spreading the paper out on the branches and rubbing along with charcoal and oil pastels. I've been making paint from the dirt, which is this brown colour, and then um, layering it with other colours and there's no plan. It's really just <laughs> Very experimental and fluid, um, and it's more about the process, I suppose, and being in the forest. And um, you know, we all know there's a lot of evidence about the benefits of forest bathing to our mental health and well-being, which has definitely been a focus for our community in the last few months. The main thing I'm doing in my practice is painting. I'm a bit obsessed with pattern and detail, so the artwork is very intricate. I enjoy actually the beginning of the painting where I get the chance to use nice big brushes and make a bit of a mess on the floor with water and inks and watercolour. But then when it's dry and I change my materials, I use very, very fine brushes to then go in and carefully paint a lot of the detail that you see in the natural world. How do I do what I do? It's focus and hard work. I have a little mantra that is just don't give up. As long as people buy my work and like my work, then I'll keep making the work. Something I get a lot of pleasure out actually is when I sell something to somebody. We've actually built up a really lovely relationship before it's got to that point. There's just something really amazing when people choose to take your work home and put it up in their space. That really means a lot. It's nice to think about the gallery being warm and inviting. It's different to a traditional commercial gallery. I'm painting while I'm in here. I like to show people the art materials, the very tiny brushes. It's so lovely when kids come in and they're always amazed to see a real artist. And I have a box of bush treasure I show them with gum nuts and leaves and feathers and things that they love. It's a really lovely, inviting experience. And living in the Dandenong Ranges is a pretty amazing gift. It's a spectacular place to live. Often people will come up for the weekend and they're thinking about moving to the hills and so we have this great conversation where I just try and talk them into it. So just, just do it, it's amazing.